Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Iron Heart issue one. So let's start talking about this issue. Beautiful cover, some great artwork throughout this book. I really love the artwork. I thought it was drop dead gorgeous, uh, really detailed. Um, just from the opener where we get to see Riri talking about flying, I thought it was just such a perfect tone to the book. Love how bright and vibrant the colors are. Um, yeah, so really was impressed by the artwork here, and that was definitely one of my favorite aspects of this book, uh, which is great to, to see for an Iron Man book. Now, or Iron Man related book, but let's start talking about the story. So with this one, we get to kind of see what Riri's life is like. If you've never read a Riri book, it explains uh, who her character is. We, you know, we get to see her origins of her stepfather, uh, being shot and also her best friend and then also her father dying so she uh, she has a tragic backstory that she explains uh, and we also get to see what she's at or what she's doing now which is that she's at uh, a high uh, college uh, and and she's doing engineering there and and we knew that about her character and and she's trying to show her experiments off and it doesn't go great for her for that uh, and then also, you know, the people are asking her why is she Ironheart, and and she tries, I guess, figuring uh, tries to figure that out uh, as this issue goes on, and and even her old friend who's trying to reconnect with her asks the same thing: Why do you want to do this? You know, so much has happened in your life. Why why do you want to be a hero? And uh, she tries giving him an answer, uh, and it looks like maybe there's some chemistry between them. Uh, maybe there's some romantic chemistry, or or maybe she just finally having another friend after Natalie. But what really hooked me with this issue was the cliffhanger. One of my favorite parts of Ironheart's origins, and probably my favorite thing that ever happened to Ironheart's story, um, was the development between Natalie and and uh, Riri. And we get to see Natalie return, so I'm so glad that she was more than just this one-off character that she was in Brian Michael Bendis' uh, storyline. And, and again, one my favorite issue of Ironheart, and still I think is a great issue, was her introduction. And then I couldn't really get into the character as much as that series continued. Uh, and I, I hadn't read cha uh, Champions in a while, so I haven't read Ironheart in, in, I would say, a couple of months, but uh, yeah, it was cool to jump into this character again, and I thought that was a really great cliffhanger and definitely got me hooked for the next issue. Um, I will say a problem, and obviously this is a problem throughout some of the Marvel books here, um, this did not need to be as large as it was. I, I thought it really slowed down with the Clash storyline, which was this, you know, Spider-Man villain that was developed with uh, Dan Slott's uh, miniseries slash Amazing Spider-Man series. Uh, so he returns and I wasn't as invested in that story and I thought it slowed down there and some of the dialogue felt a bit bogged down uh, because of that section of the issue. But even in general it felt a little bogged down because I feel like there's so much they had to fill out. But if it was just a normal issue I think this would have been an even stronger uh, first issue. But uh, like I said, I thought this, was, thought this was a really solid book uh, and definitely got me invested for the next issue and did everything an issue one should do. It was new reader friendly, but also gave you just enough if you've read uh, Riri, really, oh, Riri Williams before. So I'm going to give this a solid four stars, especially for the artwork. That's what really got me for the four stars. And I guess it is worth $4.99 because it was a good story, but I do wish this was a $3.99 book because this possibly could have been a four and a half star book if it just really shrunk that down. Um, I think it would have been uh, a tighter storyline. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what did you think of, uh, of Iron Heart issue one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below there are links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter. Don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter and of course on Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We have Frontline Live where we talk about our top five comic books and comic book news. If you want to check that out on Comic Frontline, uh, we would love for you to check out the show and, and it does go on uh, post live as well if you can't make it live. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno and I'll see you guys later. Bye.